Benoit Saint-Denis, also known as the God of War. He's an up-and-coming prospect in the lightweight division, and he's a dark horse. No, that's not what I mean. He's got 13 wins and one loss so far in his career. In only six fights in the UFC, he finds himself ranked 12th, although that is sure to change very soon. Of his six UFC fights, half of them are either fight of the night or performance of the night. He's never lost at 155. His only loss being his UFC debut, which was at welterweight, which is not his natural weight class, and was also a late notice matchup. Since he's gone back to lightweight, where he's much better suited, is a problem. Before his MMA career, Benoit served in the French Special Air Service, and his patriotism and military background are very much a part of who he is. If you've seen him fight, one thing is clear. He's going to be a mainstay at the very top of the lightweight division in no time. He's a southpaw, a power puncher, and he loves a brawl. A great mix of respectful on the mic and violent in the cage. On top of all that, his name's enjoyable to say. Benoit Saint-Denis. He takes fighting very seriously, as seriously as he takes his country and its history. Here he is acting honorably and with class when being booed by an American UFC crowd. Oh, you can boo me as much as you want. I love you, New York. Thank you, America, to save us. Uh, 45, a lot, a, a lot of years ago, after First World War and Second World War. Thank you, guys. And uh, we did a great job with Lafayette a long time ago. Thank you, America. And he's a well-rounded fighter with aggressive wrestling. Very difficult to keep down. He pops up quicker than a picogram on a John Jones drug test. And he loves a good body kick. And being a southpaw, this is usually to the open side of his opponent, doing a lot of damage. His biggest unknown so far is how he's going to fare against a top-level southpaw, rendering some of his techniques not as effective. He's also shown to be vulnerable to leg kicks, calf kicks in particular. This could be a problem in the near future when facing opponents such as Gagey. He also has been caught a few times with knees up the middle, so that will be something to watch out for if he ever faces Charles Oliveira. I think we'll all agree, the lightweight top five needs some new blood, and Benoit Saint-Denis is the man for the job. He's taking on Dustin Poirier at UFC 299. Dustin, who has been well known to not want to give lower ranked guys the opportunity, is now going to get hit with a large portion of St. Denis shaped karma against possibly the most talented prospect in the division. So we will soon get some answers on how Benoit does against the high level southpaw. Dustin versus Denis has got everything needed to be an absolute filthy banger. Dustin's got the hot sauce, but Benoit's bringing the heat. Anyway, if you like this video, give us a sub, check out his playlist of recent bangers, and I'll see you next time.